Please, uh, let's give an applause to Shivam. He's going to talk about accelerating machine learning predictions with NVIDIA TensorRT and Apache Beam. Hi, everyone, and thanks for making it. For the last time, I promise that uh, you'll be he hearing the term run inference or something like that, because I know everyone has talked about it, and that's what is all going in your mind. But I hope whenever you hear the term beam and machine learning, you use run in friends or when someone asks you at three in the night and you say like, oh, beam and machine learning, that means run in friends. So yeah, let's go through it. I again will tell you about what is ML6 or yeah, what ML6 does. So I'm a machine learning engineer at ML6 and ML6 builds custom solutions for clients using technologies such as Apache Beam, then I will tell you about the agenda for today, like what's the motivation behind uh, yeah, this talk, and then I will walk you through the solution, and yeah, in the end, I will show you also an example of a pipeline of how you can use what I'm going to talk about. So the motivation is like, again, why use machine learning? I think it's, everybody knows ML models are really good at providing semantic information, but now what is happening is like, models are becoming bigger and bigger. That means the, the cost is increasing and the inference time is probably also increasing. So when you're running a pipeline, you want your ML models to run faster. So how can you do that? So with semantic enrichment, basically, like machine learning can do multiple tasks like categorization, then summarization, sentiment analysis, translation, I don't need to sell that. Then yeah, if it is image, then image image annotation, image captioning, then speech recognition, and the list goes on and on and on. So now the problem is you want to use a machine learning model in your beam pipeline for inference. So yeah, the solution is run inference API because as everyone has said, again and again before me also, it's really nice for the developer experience. You just have to write few lines of code and bam, there you have your uh, machine learning model inference running in a beam pipeline. Now, but as I mentioned in my motivation, like the problem is the scale is increasing. That means longer inference times and the hardware requirement is also increasing. So for that, NVIDIA has a SDK called TensorRT or tool that lets you optimize the models so that uh, you can get accelerated inference. It's one of the ways in which you can ac do accelerated inference with machine learning model. So yeah, let's talk more about that. Again, I will tell you how great uh, run inference is because you don't have to write lots of code. Error handling is there, batching is there, a developer doesn't need to ca care about all of these stuff. And the same Drake meme, then same, that run inference uh, supports all the popular machine learning frameworks. And uh, in the other talks, we saw that more uh, model handlers are coming in there. I will again talk about how easy it uh, is. Like with just one single import statement, you can use uh, uh, your machine learning model in a beam pipeline. All you have to do is like call the run inference from the Apache Beam ML inference base, and then pass something called model handler. In the model handler is basically a configuration that informs run inference, like, okay, what kind of machine learning framework you are dealing with, and yeah, what is the kind of input that you're providing it. Then you have a key model handler. Basically, it helps you to keep track of the metadata associated with the data so that, yeah, in the end, you when you are doing some post-processing logic so that you can know corresponding, like here, corresponding to which image, like what was the output or the prediction generated from the run inference. So to talk on a very high level about uh, TensorRT, so basically what it does is like, uh, it's quite flexible. You can provide uh, any kind of model to the uh, TensorRT package or the tool or the SDK. And basically it does some kind of optimizations like layer optimizations, tensor fusing of tensors and bunch of other stuff that I'll not talk in detail, but yeah, feel free to look at it. And when it's, when it's optimizing these stuffs, it's like, uh, doesn't lose any accuracy at all. So in the end, when you add 
be run in friends with NVIDIA Tensor RT, what you get is like simplified experience and at the same time accelerated inference pipelines. So uh, as I mentioned, like I will walk through an example where I use NVIDIA Tensor RT in a beam run inference so that you can see and why I will, I'm saying that it's accelerated because I benchmarked it against a normal uh, model for PyTorch and yeah, uh, I saw some great improvements there. So for example, I'm using a transformer based model called BERT for doing sentiment analysis. So here you can see an example like uh, I'm giving two random sentences to the model and the model tells you if it, what it thinks is positive or negative. To talk a little bit about BERT, but it's just a transformer model uh, which was provided by Google a few years ago. A lot of things have changed, but yeah, still for a lot of problems, it's quite a nice solution. It can be fine-tuned. So yeah, you can do sentiment classification, name entity recognition, question answering, and a lot of other stuff. And for this purpose, for the example, I am using a certain model uh, available from Hugging Face. So how does it look as a DAG? It's quite simple. There is a file that contains a bunch of text. I read the text, then the typical machine learning pipe uh, phase comes in where you do some pre-processing, then you do the prediction call in this run inference, and then you do post-process. So even if you look down in the code, it's quite simple. There is like read from text IO, then you do the pardo function for some custom pre-processing, then the run inference where you do find the model handler, and yeah, then again the post-process step. So if you, yeah, it's quite simple. I won't go through it. It just gives you a P collection object. And once you have the P collection object, you want to do some pre-processing. And thanks to Hugging Face, it's quite easy. So what does this pre-processing is doing right now at this moment is it takes a text and convert into some kind of tensor. So once you have the tensor, that's what the model is expecting. You pass it through. So here you're defining, because I want to use a tensor RT model because that's what it, uh, the, I have defined it because I want to use accelerated inference, like I want to accelerate my inference time. So I'm providing the tensor inter RT engine handler numpy, it's already there in the inference model handlers. So here you can see that, okay, the framework that I'm dealing with is tensor RT engine and the data that the run inference is expecting is numpy. So once you have all this information, you give it to run inference, but how do you get from a PyTorch model or a TensorFlow model to a TensorRT engine? First, you have to know that. So in this case, I use PyTorch, which is quite easy to convert to a TensorRT engine. So what I do is like basically take, it's basically a two-step process. You first have to convert your PyTorch model to ONNX and then ONNX to TensorRT. There is also, I was not aware, but there is also a tool called something called Torch to TensorRT. I didn't look into it, but apparently it's now solved that you don't have to do this two-step process, but directly it lets you convert PyTorch to a TensorRT engine. So it's quite easy. You just have to yeah load a little bit. Again, it's available on a hugging face on how you can convert a PyTorch model to an ONX model. It's quite easy. Just yeah, few lines of code, and you have the ONX model there. And once you have the ONX model, then you need to convert into TensorRT. So for converting to TensorRT, when you download the SDK, it also comes with a command line tool and yeah, you just provide the path to the ONX model, then you provide where you want to save the TensorRT engine and then yeah, some little bit of more configuration information and then you will have your uh, basically the TensorRT engine. Now you have the TensorRT engine, you do the run inference, you got the predictions and now you have the post process basically stage because the model will give you some numbers, but you want to make sense out of it. So yeah, that's why you have the post process, which is again a simple uh, do function, which you wrap it around a par do. And yeah, in the end you get, for this example, we get like uh, blah, I don't feel good again, uh, negative sentiment because it tells like, oh, the person is not feeling good. And the second is like the food tastes awesome and the model is predicting, yeah, the sentiment is positive. So, and uh, I did the same process, but now with a PyTorch model handler, like I took a PyTorch model, and there you see the batch latency, it's in microseconds, but still, like, 
I can, you can say like, okay, it's all in microseconds, but imagine this thing happening at a much bigger scale. Right now, it's like, okay, just two lines of uh, text that I feed into this, but imagine at a much bigger scale and it can make a big, huge difference between your, if you're just using a PyTorch model and compared to if you're using a TensorRT model. So with this, the main takeaways is like, uh, if you again use run inference, it's quite easy. Developing experience is quite nice. It works with all the machine learning, famous machine learning model frameworks. And if you use together with TensorRT, if you're using TensorRT with your run inference, then it literally makes your pipeline much more faster. That means your inference time is faster. And yeah, apparently the model size also shrinks down. So you're saving again on your GPU costs. So the code is available. As on this GitHub link and the whatever I talked is also available on the official Apache Beam run inference documentation link. So you can go there, check it out. Everything is mentioned there step by step. You can make it run. So that's all for today. And yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to shoot.